Hey you folks, it's Dustin with Posi Rank. Welcome to this video about how to use the principles that you've now learned to fix duplicate title and description issues found in Google Webmaster Tools. Let's uh, do a quick recap of those newly learned principles, okay? First up, writing unique and compelling title tags, right? Now is the time to use that skill to fix the issues we found in, in Webmaster Tools and what we're going to do is log into Google Webmaster Tools, find those duplication errors, and then log into our WordPress site and fix them, which I'm going to show you in a minute. We're also going to cover how to fix the annoying brand issue that gets put on the end of every URL, and yes, this happens by default with Yoast, and it must be addressed. Okay, all of that to come. Okay, first up, fixing the duplicate titles and descriptions in Google Webmaster Tools. Now, this is what your HTML improvement screen is going to look like when Google brings back issues that it found with your site. Now, obviously, you're not going to have the red boxes here. I just put those on there to highlight the issues that this particular site has, right? So we've got duplicate meta descriptions, short meta descriptions, and duplicate title tags. Now, what we want to do here is, first of all, you need to remember... Uh, we want to get the right hand column here all these numbers down to zero so let's just just say that we're going to start with duplicate title tags I'm going to click that link and that is going to bring me to a page that looks like this now I've got to blur out the title title tags and the URLs just to you know ensure the uh, privacy of the site owner but you will see URLs here and those URLs are clickable and when you click them, it's going to bring you directly to the page where that duplicate title exists. Now, if you're already logged into WordPress, which you should be, it's going to be real easy to fix that title. Okay, let's see exactly how that's done here. I'll click one of these links, and here we are. I clicked the link in Google Webmaster Tools, and it brought me directly to the page that has the duplicate title issue. You know, and it could be any issue. All of the issues that you find in Google Webmaster Tools will have a URL and it'll bring you directly to that page. That's why I had you set it up. It's so easy to use. So we're looking at White Label SEO Review, which is a test site for PosiRank. And it's doing very well, by the way. But let's just pretend this site has some issues so we can see what it looks like on the back end. All right, so let's say this title was duplicate or it was too long. What I would do is click Edit Page and I can do that because I'm already logged into WordPress right that's a very handy thing to do it's gonna bring you to the back end here where we can edit Yoast we'll scroll down and go to the Yoast SEO tab WordPress SEO by Yoast right here and we're gonna work within the general tab but just so you know just a little tip I like the advanced tab as well because it has the drop down for the index or no index option right and also the no follow options very very handy little tool right there but for right now we're gonna work in the general tab so let's pretend that this title was too long right I'm gonna add some characters here and you can see in the preview tool here I've got the dot 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 that's no good that means my titles too long to be displayed properly in the search engine result pages that's not gonna help us get the click right that's really not going to do us a whole lot of good so it's very easy to come in and just chop that off and it fixes it immediately right now you could have any number of issues with your title and this is the exact spot where you're gonna fix it as well as the meta description everything's right here right at your fingertips very fast and efficient right very cool stuff so you make your changes and just check it in your description or uh, excuse me in your preview tool and then hit update now I want you to keep in mind for your title tags the posi rank set of rules okay is a minimum of 50 characters and a maximum of 60 including spaces right that's a little bit different than Yoast Yoast says up to 70 right? we don't agree with that right 60 is your max because if you go over that uh, you run the risk of your title not displaying properly in Google and if that happens you run the risk of Google rewriting your title altogether and that's just no good for anyone so we're trying to help uh, steer you away from that to, to save your titles as it were okay so this is where you're gonna do all your work 
once you click the link in Google Webmaster Tools. Okay, so now real quick, let me show you how to get rid of that annoying brand issue that happens with Yoast. What we need to do is hover over the Yoast SEO plugin area and click Titles and Metas. This is where we're going to get the job done. From here, you want to hit Post Types. Now, you could be using posts, you could be using pages, or a combination of both. You want to make sure that it does not include what I'm about to type right here. It, mine doesn't have it in there because I already took care of it. But let me show you what this looks like by default. Okay? It's a uh, percentage, percentage, step, percentage, percentage, and you can see it goes on. And all that does is adds a space and the name of your website to the end of every title okay and the problem there is that you run the risk of that making your title longer than is viewable in the search engine result pages right and we talked about that that's not good that's not going to help you right you could run the risk of google rewriting your title and messing everything up so we don't want to do that it's very very easy to fix all you have to do is highlight it take it off there you go. It's both on posts and pages. Now, if we scroll down here, you'll notice that my media pages, uh, I, I have no index, so it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what the title looks like because they're not going to be in the search engine result pages, all right? Once you've done all that, you click Save Changes, and that part is good to go. So that's it for Yoast. Let's hop back to the presentation real quick. All right, here we are. Let's do a quick recap. First things first, you got to find those duplicate titles and descriptions in Google Webmaster Tools. And from there, you're going to head over to your site and fix those issues on your site using Yoast. Very, very easy to do, as you saw. Now, be sure to remove the SEP and site name in Yoast to get the, rid of the brand added to the title tags. Again, that could potentially make your title tag too long, and you don't need your brand on every page on your site. Because if somebody searches your brand, your home page is going to show up first anyway. So it's not necessary. And last but certainly not least, be patient, okay? Google may take some time to recrawl those pages and see the changes that you've made. It may be a while before you see the changes in Google Webmaster Tools. You know, once the job has been completed, it is complete. Okay? Don't worry about it, just give it some time. All right? I hope you found this useful. I will see you on future videos.